In this video, we're going to be having a look at a top 10 cryptocurrency coin polka dot. Now, yes, here it says it's top 12 because I am not counting Binance USD, which is a stable coin, USDT and USDC. So if you take these stable coins out of the equations, polka dot is a top 10 coin. Can this coin 10x, 20x, 40x go to $150 in the next bull market? If you guys like this video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, leave a like, turn the notification bells on so you guys never miss a video we're going to be having a look at some ta first but first i do want to talk about polka dot on coin mark cap sitting at six dollars and seven cents down 3.26 percent in the past 24 hours with a market cap of seven billion dollars circling supply is increasing from the last bull market so in the last bull market i believe we were sitting at 960 million now we're currently sitting at almost 1.2 billion tokens in circulation so this is what proof of stake you know does to you essentially i mean there's not there's not really a limited supply as you guys can see right here the total supply or the max supply is pretty much infinite unlimited kind of like ethereum so the more people are staking the more people are getting the reward the higher inflation uh goes up essentially it's a little bit annoying but that's what it is for now and we got 1.5 million people on the watch list so having a look at the market cap if we have a look at the all-time high real quick we can see that the market cap 52.67 billion dollars as you guys can see that was an all-time high right here in 2021 when crypto peaked let's dive in into some technical analysis before i dive in into the deeper insight and the daily analysis i do want to talk about this real quick let's start off with the weekly we can see that polka dot on the weekly time frame has not broken these EMA ribbons in quite some time. So we got a rejection right here ever since we essentially broke below. And now we've just been trending ever since. And I really think that the next bull market will happen or the next big shot for Polkadot will happen once we break above these EMA ribbons. Now, the $10 region is a region we haven't visited since May 16, 2022. So it's been quite some time, almost a year, right? It's crazy. So let's have a look at the daily technical analysis. We could see right here that this is the neckline for polka dot. This green line is the neckline right here. And it's actually very interesting because we do have a support right here now and right here. And this support actually flipped into a resistance. So we came below and then we came back up, retested, got rejected. So this was a very aggressive dump right here, came back down. What happened? Fast forward to a few months after we came back up retested once again and then got rejected so another thing is that this level right here is currently sitting at eight dollars another very important level that we're going to be having a look at in order for polka dot to essentially thrive in the next bull market we're going to need to break above this neckline right here having a look at some of the fibonacci retracement first of all we did have a bounce right here at four dollars and 59 cents and if we look back in history we could see right here that this box right here was actually a huge consolidation phase one polka dot first started or before the next uh, bull market started in 2020 but having a look at some of the fibs retracements real quick if i take the fib and i retrace it from the bottom to the top we can see right here not only did we get rejected right here but the 3a2 level is a very very important level okay not only do we have the 50 moving average right here but we also have the 3a2 level right here on the fibonacci retracement so there's two rejections right here that we're going to need to close above essentially another thing is a 618 golden ratio or the golden rule as you guys can see right here we did get a nice little rejection right here so we came back a little bit below for a few days consolidated and climbed back above the fibonacci but right now we're currently sitting below the 50 moving average which is obviously a very very big indicator and as you guys can see most of the time we were trending below the 50 moving average and when we're trending below that that's usually a bad sign and when we're trending above it that's usually a very 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 good sign another thing i want to talk about is this trend so polka dot has been in a downtrend for quite some time as you guys can see right here ever since february 19 2023 we've been in a very very aggressive downtrend and now we're popping back off now usually when you break this downtrend or this channel we usually pop and retest this level right here sitting at seven dollars now assuming you take a long right here or even right here you take it to seven dollar and fifty seven cents that would be a 28 percent pump assuming you're using two to three x that could be anywhere from six percent to almost 100 percent gain on your leverage trade so that's that on polka dot now price prediction can this really go to 150 dollars 
I mean, yes, but it would be a stretch. If Polkadot does go to $150, the market cap would have to be approximately $170 billion, something like that. And that's assuming the circling supply keeps increasing. And uh, that's about it. I mean, 170 is obviously a lot. It's high. Ethereum right now is currently sitting at 204 billion. But of course, Ethereum can definitely go to 700 or even 1 trillion in the next bull market. We're going to have to see Bitcoin as well. So we're going to have to see what Polkadot does and if it could really hit that 150, 170 billion dollar market cap. I mean, circling supply is only increasing. I wouldn't be surprised if within a year from now, the circling supply is at 1 billion, 400 million something like that, which would mean that it would be essentially harder for uh, Polkadot to essentially go up because every dollar that goes up at the moment, $1.16 billion is added to the ecosystem or to the market cap, which is very, very high. It's a lot. Billions of dollars is not peanuts. It's very, it's a lot of money. So that's my analysis on Polkadot. If you guys like this video, once again, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, leave a like, and I will see you guys in my next video tomorrow.